Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem in which we have to compute the taxable amount of income from business. So the question is on the screen, they have given a P&L account. Below that, they have given certain additional information. First, let us read this additional information. The actual bad debts were 5,000 rupees. So they have given an actual bad debts, which is admissible expenses actual bad debts and the kotidara this is an admissible expenses bad debts are admissible martivi provisions for bad debts are inadmissible martivi adrele bad debts kotirodrinda adu admissible the actual amount of income tax paid during the year is 4000 rupees so if you just look into the uh, yeah p and l account there is a this thing called as provisions for income tax so just uh, make make sure that the provisions whatever the provisions is there it is completely inadmissible yavde ritiya provisions idre adu completely inadmissible martivi and this income tax paid even this income tax paid is also an inadmissible so just ignore that no need to consider it anywhere next Hello, allowable depreciation as per IT rules is 1500. This is admissible expenses. And in, let us check the PL account. Anything they have given regarding depreciation? So I think no such information is given uh, regarding depreciation. So when nothing is given in adjustment, they have given that allowable depreciation. Allowable means admissible depreciation, which is 1500 rupees. Advertisement expenses include 450 rupees spent on special advertisement campaign to open a new shop. So you are opening a new shop. For that you are doing some campaign, some research work. For that you are shelling out rupees 450 as an ex advertisement expenses which is included here. So if you just observe the PNL account, you have an advertisement expenses of 1200 rupees. This 1200 rupees includes this 450 rupees. So just ignore. This is to confuse you. They have given. He carried out the business in a rented house, 40% of which is used for his residence. So it is very important. Any uh, expenses or income if they have given pertaining to your what do you say uh, house property any rent or any municipal tax paid we will take this adjustment into consideration so just keep this uh, adjustment in your mind I will show you how to solve that when we are solving the problem rent rates and taxes include rupees 2400 paid as rent of the property so 2400 rupees whatever they have paid in that rent rates and taxes that is for the property so in rent rates and taxes this market as the adjustment so that's all about the additional information so now let us try to solve the problem so let me first draw the format yes so you need to have three columns first column will be particulars second and third column will be amount column so just have three columns put the heading as computation of taxable income from business in exam you have to even mention name of the SSC and all so computation of taxable income from business so you always know that first we will always write net profit as per p and l account net profit as per p and l account so let us check the p and l account if p and l account they have given a net profit of rupees 43000 so i'll write it same 43000 it is the net profit for this you need to add four items either okay, four items add Madbeko. what are those four items i'd write it here first one is inadmissible expenses or losses which is debited to p and l account second one is 
non sorry business or professional income not credited to PNL account not credited to PNL account the third one is over over valuation of opening stock over valuation of opening stock and fourth one is under valuation of closing stock these are the four items which you will be adding that first one is inadmissible expenses and losses which is debited to PNL account means in PNL account any inadmissible expenses or losses is there that we will add it here first let us check the PNL account salary salary is an admissible expenses so ignore that rent rates and taxes it has an adjustment that in this rents rate and taxes 2400 is rent of the property if you see that in that for property 40 percent he is using is for residence so when the property only 90 percent on us want the new asset the best I don't know remaining 60 percent on the business goes for a better size than a how can you in a rent other case I'm on the party through 60 percent admissible I get the will get the can have 40 percent will be inadmissible so just write here as rent rates and taxes so total 2400 rupees is a rent of a house property in that 40 percent is for his personal use so only that 40 percent quotient of 2400 i'm making it as inadmissible so 2400 into 40 percent will be 960 rupees next printing and stationery it is admissible personal expenses is always inadmissible so i'll write here personal expenses it is 3000 rupees next commission so a commission is a part of your business expense so it is admissible discount allowed is admissible provision for bad debts as i have told you that any kind of provisions we will it is always inadmissible how they read the provision see through kuda at the hour glue inadmissible provision for bad debts the total provision for bad debts is thousand two hundred rupees next gifts and presents so even this gifts and presents if it is there you have to give after paying tax so all this gift and present expenses we will not consider for the calculation of taxable income so it is inadmissible next next you have fire insurance premium on stock so fire insurance is admissible whereas if it is for it was life insurance life insurance are the inadmissible fire insurance are admissible next is gst so gst is an admissible expenses so you need not bother about that gst is an admissible repairs and renewals non-business and the could put here so make it inadmissible repairs and renewals so they have only given in the question that it is non-business how much is the amount it is 480 rupees next a loss on sale of machinery in the bracket they have told that it is a personal machinery so whatever the loss is there it will be inadmissible loss of loss on sale of personal machinery it is 1800 rupees next life insurance premium as i told you that life insurance premium is personal so which is inadmissible so life insurance premium it is 1700 rupees which is inadmissible wealth tax so now there is nothing called as wealth tax any kind of income tax or wealth tax it is completely inadmissible there is less chances that they will give this wealth tax item in your exam because there is no any kind of uh, wealth tax now so it is less chances of asking that 
Next is interest on capital 730 rupees. As I told you that interest on capital, interest on drawings, all are inadmissible. Interest on capital, it is 730 rupees. Next you have audit fees. So as I told you that according to uh, section, uh, sec I think section 10 of income tax act. So if whatever the uh, amount of expenses, if it is less than uh, 10,000 rupees, you will consider it to be admissible. If it is more than 10,000 rupees, then you will consider it as inadmissible. Here audit fees is 300, which is less than 10,000. So it is an admissible expenses. So just ignore that. Next is interest on bank loan. Interest on bank loan. So whether uh, they have not given whether that interest for bank loan is personal or for business purpose, when they have not given any information, we will consider that that particular interest is for uh, for the bank loan, which is taken for business purpose. So always when it comes like that, you just write a note in your examination interest on bank loan is considered that is considered as admissible expenses assuming that the bank loan is taken for business purpose bank loan na nivu business e goskara tagondidira anta illi note barita idira hagagi nivu uh, uh, interest on loan in either not admissible Martha so just ignore that provisions for depreciation as I told you that provision yao de rithya provisions are gilly at the completely inadmissible yao de rithya provisions nabu allow maadu tila so provision for depreciation is 2500 next is provisions for income tax same yao de rithya provisions are kuda we will not allow that provision for income taxes 3900 rupees that's all about the debit side now let us add all these items 960 plus 3000 plus 1000 200 plus 150 plus 480 plus 1800 plus 1700 plus 1700 plus 1700 you will get a total of 17,160 this is the first item next second item is business or professional income which is not credited to PNL account there is no any such items so I'll just make it as nil over valuation or under valuation of closing stock even there is no such items so same I will make it both as nil now this 17,160 I will add it for 43,000 I will get the answer of 60,160 now we need to reduce some items from this what are those five items we have to reduce the first one is admissible expenses not debited means which is not shown in the PNL account not debited to PNL account is the first item second item will be non-business or professional income non-business or professional income credited to PNL account next you will have tax free incomes credited to PNL account next you have undervaluation undervaluation of opening stock and last item is overvaluation of closing stock overvaluation of closing stock 
सो ये रीतिय ओवर वैल्युशन आफ् क्लोसिंग स्टाक सो ना ओनली रईटिंग इट ने दर् इज नो डीटेल अबउट ओपनिंग स्टाक ऐम रईटिंग इट ऐस ने दर् इज नो एनी टैक्स फ्री इनकम आलो ऐम रईटिंग इट ऐस ने नाउ लेट इस चेक वेदर दर् इज एनी अडमीसबल एक्सपेस विच इज नाट डेबिटेड टू पी एंडल अकाउंट दट मीन यू हेव टू चेक अडीशनल इनफर्मेशन यू हेव टू ईटम्स वन इज बैड डेट्स दट इज फाइव थाउसेंड रूपी सो ई विल रईट इट हियर बैड डेट्स टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड रूपीस सॉरी इट इज फाइव हंड्रेड रूपीस नेक्स्ट यू हेव डिप्रिसिएशन अलोवेबल डिप्रिसिएशन एज पर आई टी रूल्स दट इज थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड अडमिसेबल डिप्रिसिएशन एज पर आई टी रूल्स इट इज थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ओनली दीज टू आइटम्स इज देर टोटल एप एंड पुट इट इन द आउटर कॉलम You have to write it in the brackets because we have to reduce it. The next item you have is non-business or professional income, which is credited to P&L account. We need to check the credit side of the P&L account. If any non-business income is there, we have to re let's reduce it here. Interest on investments, it is uh, non-business income. Interest on investments. interest on investment because it comes under different head of income that is income from other sources it is 5000 rupees next rent received so rent received is also a part of your non business income because it comes from income from house property it doesn't come under income from business or profession next winning from lottery it is also uh, it comes under different head of income and it is an inadmissible expenses winning of lotteries it is uh, 10000 rupees so total it up 5000 plus 6000 plus 10000 the total comes under 21000 write it in the brackets Now from sixty thousand one sixty, if you reduce two thousand and twenty one thousand, you get the answer thirty seven thousand one sixty. This is considered as taxable income from business. इतने ना वो taxable income from business अंदर considered मारो तो. This is how we need to solve the problem. hope you have understood how to solve this problem it is one of the easiest problem if you have any doubt in this particular problem you can post your doubts in the comment box so that i'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible thank you for watching the video i'll come back with some more problems in the next video